Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to switch on this LED through SMS. I'm going to type LED on. It's on. LED off. It's off. This is SIM 7600 4G module. It also have 3G capability as well. It got a GPS antenna also and the SIM card is here and the other side like this. Today we are going to do only receiving. This SIM module receive SMS from the mobile phone. Previously I have done another video. This SIM module send SMS to mobile. It is available somewhere here. The wiring diagram is here. If you want to use GPS also, you need to give separate 5 volt power supply. You can use USB cable to power supply. If it is simple one, you can connect V to 5 volt, G to G and T to A10, R to A9. And for the LED, pin PA1 connected through 100 to 500 ohm resistor to longer pin of LED, shorter pin of LED connected to G. You can use a relay instead of LED if you want. The wiring connection is like this. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys for the debug serial wire. Click RCC for the high speed clock crystal ceramic resonator. Now we can click the clock configuration tab and in this area change this to 72 enter and click OK. After this one finish we can click this one we wait finished we can click it click connectivity use at one for the mode asynchronous. In the configuration, NVIC setting, we, for the global interrupt, we tick. Done. Now for the parameter setting, baud rate has to be 115200. That's the same baud rate for the SIM card, SIM module, so we don't need to change. If it is different, change it to 115200. For the pin with the LED, that's PA1, make it GPIO output. That's all the setting. We can click save. Code is being generated. In the description below of this video, I have given a website address. This one, there is a, something related to 7600 module. You can read through and the below there is a diagram. Picture is here. Cube ID setting here. We've already done. The code is here. We can copy and paste to save time. User code begin include. We need to copy and paste these two lines. Copy it. User code begin include in the Cube ID is here. We paste it. Go there again. User code begin PV. We need to copy and paste these. Copy. User code begin PV. That's here. We paste it. These are the some uh, uh, variables for the. Now, user code begin to. We need to copy from here until user code N2 here. Copy it. Go to user code begin 2. That's here. We paste it. Finally, user code begin 4. We need to copy from here until here. Copy it. There's nothing in the while loop. We don't need to put anything because 
the after this one is interrupt receivable so it go to interrupt callback in user code begin for that's here paste it that's all basically what it does is the program starts and uh, it comes to the user code begin to it wait until response uh, for the AT if you get response OK we pass this step and then we send this command and then we send this command this enable the whenever SMS arrives to C module it interrupts and then we receive interrupt from here and then there's nothing in the while loop and it the interrupt receiver goes to the callback in user code begin for in here so callback so whenever s key value 13 it goes here otherwise all the data goes to the buffer and it checks the buffer for this thing and it get the slot and then it read the message in that slot when the message arrives and it checks for the led on and then if it is led on switch on the led and delete the message and here this command it, it will delete all the message in your sim card so make it sure it is okay for you and the same thing if it is led off it switch off the led and delete the message and then it resets and then it gets the next character that's all we can click save and use the hammer button to build and see for any errors now we can click green button to place the code this one click debugger I normally use the for the probe open OCD it will work with the original board also for the clone boards click so generate option go below mode is system software system reset click apply click OK I have uploaded the code. Let's try one more time. LED on. It's on. LED off. So, thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.